Howdy there. Name's Captain Popo. I'm the legendary pirate of the Seven Seas. Perhaps you've heard of me? No. Come on, man. Strength of like ten gorillas? Wielder of the shiny golden axe? Nothing? Really? Hmm. Alright, alright. I guess this calls for an epic origin story. But to tell the story, we gotta take it back all the way to the beginning. Whoa, hey, whoa, whoa! Too far, too far. No, no one needs to know what happened there. Wait, where's the fancy animation? We ran out of money? Unbelievable. Guess I'm freestyling this. Forgive my lack of art skills, darling. Well, it all started while I was fishing on my boat. And to my amazing luck, I found this weird map in a bottle. <laughs> and you can immediately tell where my mind went to. Money? Treasure? Fame? Trail mix? <gasps> Gold? I couldn't bother with the details. I had to rush over there as soon as possible! The map led me to this strange island where it had a temple in the shape of a gorilla head. I dubbed it Gorilla Gorilla Island. Great name, right? <laughs> Anyways, by look at this island, there had to be something special lying in there. Venture awaited me, and I rushed inside that temple. This place had arrows, spike pits, fire, and all other sorts of booby traps. <laughs> traps. But don't worry, yours truly has reflexes like a cat. Woof. Once I reached the very bottom floor, I saw the treasure that awaited me. Golden bananas! Mountains and mountains of it. Something else grabbed my attention. Some kind of monkey mask. For some reason, I couldn't take my eyes off it. I was completely entranced by it. But I had to put the darn thing on! Once the mask was on my head, all the gold around me started to melt. And then suddenly, the temple started to collapse in on itself. I should have been dead. But, I guess fate had other plans for me. Once I dug my way out of the rubble, I noticed the mask was still on my head. And no matter how hard I pulled on the mask, it was not coming off. The thing was like super glued to my head or something. But, for some reason I felt strange. Stronger even. <sighs> Testing what I felt, I realized I got the strength of 10 gorillas. I was... Super strong, man! <laughs> oh, yeah! Once I got on my boat, I had two revelations. One, how the heck do I eat food now? And, well, let's just say it's uh, pretty gross to my liking. And second, I could become a world-famous pirate. Might need to get a bigger boat, though. And a crew. Hmm. My mind only came to one solution. Stream online and entertain the masses! Oh, oh, oh yeah! Things are gonna get crazy around here. It is I, the great and magnificent Captain Popo. Hope you all are doing well. I'm doing fantastic, thanks for asking. Let's get started with Slideshow. The feature presentation. Here we go. Start knowledge about me, your favorite pirate, legendary captain, seven seas, arg matey. Starting off with the likes, I like the adventuring, going to new lands, new places, seeing wonderful people. Very, very nice, very nice. Exploring, fresh air, nature. Oh, yes. Aside from that, I like fishing. Fishing very, uh, fishing calms the nerves. Calms everything. And, you get delicious food. Who doesn't like free food? Of course you have to fight for it. Not, and sometimes you don't always get the fish, but that's, that's besides the point. Anyways, moving on. I like video games. And I do plan on playing a lot of video games for you guys. So hope you guys enjoy what I put out. And yeah, video games are very fun. Frustrating at times, it'll be relaxing, just like adventures. A lot of similarities to that. And fishing. Yes. Very fun times. And I hope we have fun times together. And beyond that, I'll become friends. I do like friends, hanging out with friends, making friends, talking to friends, chilling with the homies. You know how it be. 
all shapes and forms. I like friends. Hopefully, you and I can become friends. But most of all, what I like, dare I say love, dare I say would marry in a heartbeat. Gold. So much gold, I can't even contain myself. <laughs> oh my god. Look at it. Just look, look, look at the gold. Look, how can you not like this? Look at it. The texture, the color, the shininess. I gotta move on before I before I get into a tangent about gold, but yeah, needs to say it's it's amazing. It's amazing. Dislikes. Ugh. I don't like cuttlefish, and I have a very, very reasoning to that. When I was stranded out at sea, I was starving. So I fished, and I found what I thought to be just a weird-looking squid. And instead of cooking it, I just tossed it in my mouth, chewed it up, and let me tell you, I was sick for days. I was vomiting, pooping. I was, I was on the bed. I was nauseated. I was... Having nightmares, and let me tell you, the cuttlefish was just terrible. Terrible. Don't, don't give it to the hype. Don't give it to the hype of their name. It's not cuttlefish. It's cursed fish. I hate it. I hate that fish so much. They're also creepy looking. Very uh, creepy. Next thing is, no, so I'm deep, deeply, deeply. I'm terrified of gnomes. Gnomes are scary. Have you seen a gnome? Gnomes are, are just up to something. Just just look at their face and they're up to something. Gnomes are just... No. Oh god. Oh god. Why is it there? Look at it. Oh god. Okay. Uh... I'm gonna have nightmares later tonight. Mm -hmm. Anyways, this is my trusty axe. My trusty axe called Solgar. Which comes from the mysterious faraway island. Not much is known about this place, aside from the fact it's named after the King of the Vikings. Yeah, he's not very good with the names, but... Eh, I'll give him points for trying. Yes. So this gold-like texture that this axe is made out of, it's made out of golden adamantine. Good against blocking against psychic attacks, mind readers. Also very, very sharp, very durable. It is very, very durable. And the wood, the wood-like texture that it's made out of is moonhogany. You're probably asking, what the heck is moonhogany? I'll tell you, I'll tell you, it's... It's the type of wood that comes from the one place that isn't corrupted by capitalism. SPACE! <laughs> uh, if you know where that's from, we're best friends now. He... Oh yeah, this, uh, this axe caught me through some tough times. Brilliant times. It's magnificent. I only use it for emergencies and it also depends on the creature that I'm fighting. More often than not, I'd rather just use my hands and my sheer strength to fight it. And also, it's also good for style. If I do say so myself. Ah, yes. The beautiful, the beautiful Jade Sycamore Amulet. Made out of mythical jade stone. Belonging to the Queen of the Dragons. Lovely lady. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, this gem is found in the seas of China. They have a lot of rare jewels. Very nice place. It also has the extra enchantment to turn a dragon into a human. Just, there you go. You can see right there. Yeah. Yeah. If a dragon were to wear this, they could turn into a human. Oh. Unfortunately, it doesn't work on me because I'm not a dragon. No, I'm not a dragon. I'm a, a monkey. Yeah, this uh, this curse uh, turned my whole 
biology and whatever into monkey. What type of monkey? I have no idea. <laughs> Let's keep going. Ah yes, my partner in crime. My 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 beautiful my beautiful partner Beans. This guy was a stowaway on my ship as I was I was leaving the island. He ate all my cans of beans, and I was very upset. But I couldn't be upset at this man. He was adorable. And he also seemed cold, so I gave him my my, uh, my lucky yellow scarf. Honestly, I think my scarf would have came in handy in that temple, but... Eh. Eh. I, I, I say it came out pretty unscathed. Don't, don't argue with me. But yeah, this guy helped me acquire a lot of gold and treasures along my travels, and I, would, I wouldn't be anywhere without him. I love this little guy. I love him! Here's another picture of him, jumping high in the air. Very cinematic shot. Uh, man. Very cool guy, very cool guy. Here's my original design. The first ever design. Very nice, very nice. Prototype-esque, I like the, the blue jeans. Very nice, very nice. Nice boxing pose. Showing off that I, I, I'm more of a fighter than swinging my axe around. Here's a more updated reference sheet. Yep. More refined, now sporting black pants. Yes. Very, very nice. And you can see more of the harness right there. Yeah, I can actually uh, move my axe behind me on like the left side, right side of my back. Very, very nice. And you can see some of my emotions. Very happy, my crying. Mm -hmm. My anger. Grr. Wait, wait, wait. Grr. Questions, and you can you can see my axe right there. There's my axe. Yeah. Came out very well. I love it. Shows off my my magnificence. It also captures it captures my good side, which is all the sides. I'm so great. Goals. Goals, goals, goals. Personal goals. My personal goals is to make more friends, meet a lot of people, especially in this community. I've met a lot of nice people in here, and I hope to continue seeing more and make more friends. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Of course, I love like all the friends I, ha I have already. I love them. And next on the list, learn a new language. Uh, as of right now, I only speak uh, English. Uh, what other languages do I want? Uh, do I want to learn? <clears throat> uh, not really sure. I might uh, might learn some uh, Japanese, Italian, French, Latin. Latin would be interesting. Oh man, I wonder if there's any Latin VTubers out there. I gotta do research after this. Build a new boat. Uh, definitely gotta build a new one. My my current one is kind of severely damaged and I'm kind of kind of landborn. I missed the seas already. Ooh. Of course, uh, I could sell all the gold and immediately do it, but no. No, 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 no. We don't, we don't, we don't give away gold. We, we hoard it. Speaking of gold, we need more gold. More. Ooh. Now credits. <laughs> Model and rigging. This beautiful model you see before you is made by the magnificent. I hope I'm I'm, I'm pronouncing this right. I'm still sorry if I pronounced this wrong. B M D. Hold on, I got it. There we go. I don't know why my music stopped. Anyways, she made this magnificent design. Very very good. Very nice. Sleek, clean, sexy. Very nice. All the muscle definitions you can see right there. Look at my six pack. Super strong. Alleyway for the OG design that you saw earlier with my with my fist up in the air, ready to punch somebody, box them. Love it, dude. Really, really, really thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And dude. Okay, hold on. Let me just. There we go. No guts, dude. For my more refined one with the black pants and the character sheet you saw earlier. 
phenomenal job. I, I, I cannot say thank you enough. It's, it's beautiful. But yeah, you can look up all these artists on Fiverr. Tell them I sent you. They're really cool people, really nice. My personal recommendations. Next we have Vinzart, who made this axe and necklace. Designs are really, really great. The necklace is actually based off of uh, an actual necklace I own of the Tree of Life. So yeah, it's based off of realness right there. And the axe is actually based off of a uh, off of Stormbreaker from us, wielded by a certain Asgardian who wields lightning. Wink, wink. Yeah, you guys know who it is. But I love it. I, I really love the, how this came out. It's really, really nice. And Captain's Porters, which will you will which should be, well, you already saw it in the very beginning. I love it. Uh, and we're gonna go we're gonna go more over it after this is done. Yeah, Octa Octavian, like Octavian Us Uskul. I'm so sorry. It's great, magnificent. It's oh, and right here, destroyed kingdom that you saw in the video. Made by the mag, made by the magnificent. Wait, hold on, this down, down here. Thin guy in ninety-one. Plus on fiber. Very cool guy. Very nice. I, I love the way it's very beautiful. Uh, I can't say much about Far Away Island. Uh, we'll get to it. We get to it in the future. For now, it's it's great. Wonderful stuff. And the logo design, which I did Oh, I do it's not there. I'll show it after the words. But yeah, created by Sad Machines. Lovely person. Beautiful work. All the designs on his fiber page are, are absolutely amazing. I love it. the first uh bean design that you saw was made by a Mexican way. Cool dude. I like it. I like the cartoony nat nature of it. And then we got for the for the jumping one. Just, just gotta get out of the way. Right. Just there we go. Munufa. Again, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. He, uh, this person made the jumping one. She actually made a lot of variations, which I think you can see on my on my Twitter if I haven't posted it up already. Beautiful work, beautiful work. I love the shading that she did on it and how what everybody else did I, I love their shading how they did it great great stuff great stuff highly recommend if you're looking for uh, for artwork loading screen loading screen that you saw in the beginning made by the lovely the magnificent yogi cool stuff I really like it bases off of uh, bean mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Anadol's Club made the follow alerts. Uh, can't really show it to you right now because I need somebody to follow. But yeah, it, it's really, really good. Thank you guys so much. And oh, that's it for that. But yeah, all, all these artists, all of them right here, you can find them all on Fiverr. All the mice, yeah. They're really great. All right, let's close this out. And here is my room. Here is my room. And you just do this. Yeah. Let me show you. Let me show you around the pad. As you can see, I got a lot of gold here. So much gold, treasures, jewels. Oh, and you know what? It's not enough. I need more. So much more gold. Right here, you can see my prized possessions. Some candles. Some nice cabinates made from rich mahogany. Very nice stuff. A sword. I don't really use for battle, but I think it adds to the decorations around this place. Uh, my, uh, well, Bean, Bean kind of took this board. I honestly don't know where he got it from, but you know what? He has exquisite taste. A model of my boat that took way longer than necessary to assemble. Kind of embarrassing, but good. You got good. 
and I did it by hand with no help from Beam. You can't prove anything. Got the skull of the dinosaur. From the... Dinosaur Island. Ah, it was a magnificent battle. Except we got the scars to prove it. Next we have another picture of Faraway Island. Yes, very, very good. Very, very good. Lovely place. Or at least it was. More treasures, some globes. My desk base of operations were... Oops. <laughs> base of operations where I place, uh, where I plan out some heist and some other stuff. I mean, where I plan some funding for my next adventure. And, uh, you're probably wondering... Oops. You're probably wondering what that thing outside is. <laughs> it's a sticker. So it was a sticker of a Kraken. I think, I, I think it adds some, uh, nice flavor. If I do say so myself. Treasure chest, golden plates, this lovely leg lamp. If you know, if you know what movie it's from, uh, we're better friends. We're the bestest friends. And yes, my, my good old happy juice that we got over here. Don't ask what the happy juice is. So next up, let's, uh, let's see the model. Look at this. Look at my shoes. Look at it. What are those? Here are my new kicks. Throw off some legs here. Look at that. Got some pockets. I got big boy pockets. To carry extra gold. <laughs> my nice hands. With tattoos and my cufflings. Viking. Es 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 yeah. Viking. Viking esque design. Fingerless gloves. My nice fur from my my battle with the mammoth kraken. If you don't know what that is, it's it's uh basically a, a kraken that's very fuzzy. Fur of a mammoth. Giant tusks that are really sharp. Believe me, they're really sharp and they hurt a lot. My scars, my bod. Let's get, let's get a closer look at the, the belly button. Nice muscle texture. The pecs. The necklace. Oh yeah, I should probably tell you about the tattoos. Yeah, originally I didn't have any tattoos. This is this is part of the curse. Yeah, and I would say it hurt when it was applied to me during the whole curse process, but uh, I was kind of under a bunch of rubble. So, yeah. Kind of dazed off of that. My ex. The details right there. And me! My beautiful, lovely face. Let's get a little closer look if you can see it. Would you believe I had brown eyes before I had the glowing orange? Yeah, I really like my glowing orange eyes. And you can also kind of see right here. If I can move it around. Yeah, it's, it's it, it reads out cursed. It's uh, yeah, this this mask is bound to my head. Maybe eventually we'll break the curse. Who knows? But for now, let's enjoy the ride for what it gives. Praise the girl of God. Praise him or her or it. And yeah, let's uh let's check out the emotes. So I have the power to turn off the glow. I don't know, I kind of... A bit debating if I like it or not, but I think it looks cool. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Next, I got my surprise look. What? Wait. You mean to tell me all my gold gone? Where'd it go? <laughs> Next, next we have the angry eyes. Urgh. Ooh, stole everything I own. Being when I get my hands on that person, they're gonna get it. They're gonna get the X. <laughs> then I got you. You like you like my muscles? 
you give me gold. This is the best gift I have ever gotten. And then I got happiness. Pure happiness. And I can also mash up all three. <laughs> Let's back it up a bit. And that's pretty much it. That's all there is to it. I am the legendary cursed pirate monkey of the seven seas. Very powerful. Very powerful stuff. So next time I see you guys, I'll be answering your burning questions. I'll see you there. <laughs> Without further ado, thank you all so much for watching this debut. And as always, stay golden, champ.